Good morning, everybody out there. Hope everybody's having a good morning. This morning I did a little something different. I went for a little ride in the car early this morning. I'm an early riser, so you know, you get out. And uh, I found this little spot ah, a couple months ago, and I thought this would be a great spot to do a video from. So here I am. It's nice to be outside in nature and uh, just to kind of sit back and relax and talk a little bit. And today I want to talk about the importance of being prepared and why it, with the whole chaotic mess that is taking place on a daily basis, things are changing so fast. my coffee and you know we all really have to sit back and really realize what is happening around us and how with the ever-changing conditions of this world why it is so important for all of us to think about being prepared think about how we're going to provide for our families there are so many things and so many hypotheticals out there right now that nobody really knows where this is really going to go. What is really going to happen? What is really the truth? What is the future going to hold for you and me, nature? I mean, what is it? You know, um, with the ever-changing conditions of the land we live in and with the changing weather, how everything has been changing so, it's hotter, drier, some areas are wetter, um, you know, it, it's just really weird. And when you sit out here in nature like this and, and you really think about it, you know, I mean, there's things we can control. There's things that we can't control, right? I mean, it, it's just a fact of nature. <laughs> and the point being is, are you prepared? Do we have a plan? Because I really feel that there's something that's going to take place. There's too many bad things that have changed the way that we live our lives on a daily basis, the way we look at how we do things. Um, there's just so much that has changed since Charlie Victor 19 came to town, if you know what I mean. So now we're we're dealing with the whole recovering of being able to get back out in society. Um, we're trying to get back to some type of normal lifestyles. But it seems like every time we take a step forward, for some reason, we're always taking more steps backwards. I don't know. But I will tell you, I will tell you that, you know, I mean, as a prepper standpoint, we have to be prepared. Um, we really need to be focused on our preparedness, not just in our food, but in all of our other supplies. And we also need to make sure that we are focused on maybe having a little extra because you're going to have those family members or close friends that are in denial that don't believe anything is going to happen. But what happens if it does? It'll be real hard to turn those people away, unfortunately. Um, that was a bird. That was pretty cool. Wish we flew down towards the camera. 
That would have been a good shot. But you have to sit here and you really have to think about what are you going to do if something happens and some ungodly disaster, natural disaster or just a disaster happens in your area and are you prepared to leave your home? What happens if you have to come out to nature and, you know, survive until you can figure out what to do? You know, I mean, a lot of people, they may know how to camp. Um, and you probably could get away with that for a few days. But after a week, two weeks, you're going to have to really start thinking about, all right, are we going to stay where I'm at? Do you feel you're secure in wherever it is that maybe you set up your camp? Or do we need to move on? Do we have resources around us that we can rely on to help keep us alive, you know, water and food and, you know, fish or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, I mean, these are just all things that you have to run through your mind. And you really need to sit back and think about it. You know, we have all these crazy things that are going on, you know, the threat of nuclear war. I mean, you can read into that however you want. Um, it just seems like um, you know, one keeps threatening the other, then another one will threaten back, and you know, it's like tit for tat here. So, you don't know what to believe. We don't know if we're headed back into a cold war. We don't know um, what the outcome of this could be. Is somebody really stupid enough to push the button? I sure hell hope not, but I mean, really, think about it. I wouldn't want to see anything happen to anybody out there anywhere in that type of a situation and not to mention the beautiful nature and everything else that we lose all the animals there, there's more that goes into it lives will be destroyed homes businesses roads bridges train tracks the whole nine yards the whole infrastructure could be destroyed in a matter of seconds you know no power grid i mean are you prepared you know, you, you get out in nature, and I would highly suggest people that even go out, find a park, and go out early in the morning before there's a lot of people and everything else, and sit there and listen to the birds and watch the sunrise and um, clear your mind and, and really think. I think it's a, it's a very good eye-opening experience for a lot of people. And studies have shown that people that like unplug and go out into nature it really helps them clear their mind to make good quality decisions about a specific thing that is going on in their life or something that is weighing heavy on their heart so maybe that's something we all need to do before anything drastic happens so that maybe we could come up with some type of a solution to the problem before the problem arises. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all kind of enjoyed this little video, something a little different. And uh, yeah, we got to get back out to nature, folks. And I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Uh, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. It's the easiest way that you can support this channel and help get the word out. So until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Cheers.